Hey everyone, welcome to Figure Fantasy. So we're here with Chriselle and it's going to be time to discuss her strategy and build guide for those who are interested in building her out, for those who have ha who have her already. Um, it's going to be showcasing, showcasing a bit of uh, uh, her skin. I have her already, so I'm going to be equipping the skin for this tutorial so i hope you are not going to be confused on how she looks like but definitely she is she's looking better here than her original skin and uh let's move to discussing uh my build so i have already at four star peach definitely nearing five stars so we'll start off with her skills guys um Starting with her basic attack, so it's evil familiar, range is 6 slots, attacks an enemy starts from the first enemy in the same line. So attack speed is fast, so no need to boost her attack speed because that will be sufficient enough. Level 2 and 3 will be boost the damage from basic attacks by 25% plus 25% for 50%. Next is going to be her ultimate which is going to be euphoria cage initial energy is 50 curses the current target for eight seconds ca causing it to lose health every second curse cannot be removed by purifications Re regenerate is six per second upgrade effect of this one although level two is not um is not going to be that much of a you know um, a highlight so all of your figurines and summon units attack against the curse target have a 25% chance to deal splash frost damage to 22% of the damage dealt to the enemy surrounding the target so just a little bit of damage but her level 3 the longer the target is cursed the more health it will lose every second Increases the amount of health it loses by 9% for every second. Um, stacking up to 72%. So that's a big stack. If the effect of the curse expires, it will it will be it will be it should have a a reapplication re of the stack. Okay, or restacked in this case. So her ultimate um has two components one is your damage over time for curse then the other one is your frost damage moving on to her passive you have here oracle omen so corsell's basic attack locks onto the target and enemies surrounding it dealing continuous damage after a locked enemy unleashes a skill corsell deals frost damage to it and to the target under attack so upgrade effect Boost damage against cursed enemies by 120, which is good. In level 3, when a lock target is defeated, Cressel deals extra damage to the current target and extends the curse state of the ultimate by 1.5 seconds. Okay, so frost damage, the lower the frost resist, the higher the amount of frost damage taken. So definitely she will be paired interestingly with another figure, which I will discuss later. Um, Ode to Joy, boost damage by 15% when there is no surrounding enemies. Upgrade effect, boost target by 5% and damage against enemies that have brand countering, which is interesting. Um, for those, for a team, um, if you're going to build a brand countering team, you have to include her in it. Brand countering is, there is a actually a brand countering, so a specific brand is weak to tenma so that is basically the, com the the component or that is how brand countering is going to take effect so level three boost damage by 25 percent when there is no surrounding enemy so those are the components of her skill definitely she's going to be a monster in control teams um as long as you built her well especially when it comes to hp um for her weakness, guys, again, um, I just want to reiterate, health is really an important part for her to survive. Attack is not a problem also for defense. Moving on to her parts. So as for her parts, um, for the four-piece set, 
I'm definitely going with your energy set, which is kind of an experiment for me. Wanted to trigger her um, ultimate as frequent as possible. So you have four piece set energy. Your other option for the four piece set, not enhance. <laughs> option option replace so your other option for the four piece set is either attack set sorry not this one attack set which is going to be your third option but your second option is definitely going to be your ultimate set so from energy ultimate and attack set those are your options for the four piece set for your two-piece set, definitely you will have to go with HP. You don't really have a choice. She's kind of squishy at the back, so you really need to give her as much HP as possible with your HP set. Okay, so moving on to her badge. The first one that I'm recommending is definitely your end time ultimate badge. So boost damage by 15% when unleashing the ultimate, stacking up to five times and lasts until the battle. This is the same um, badge that I have with Zarola. So definitely, especially if you have an ultimate set here, this one will go well with that ultimate set. The next badge that I am going to recommend with her is going to be the immortal infinite badge so this is for militarists and uh, boost ultimate power by 30 percent as well also the ultimate grants healing equal to 72 percent of the damage dealt to figuring summon creature in the lowest health so this one is going to be a good to boost your ultimate and also um utility some utility for healing with your allies okay so that is our Bad. Okay, so for team composition, let's um, discuss um, within her class. No, within her brand. So Tenma for Tenma, definitely for team comp. You're going to be pairing her uh, much with Zephyr because of the energy that Zephyr get, uh, gives. And also you're going to be teaming up. She's going to be teaming up with Sani because of... The passive that she has to reduces all enemies frost resist by 25% until the battle ends. Again, she's going to be working well with a um, with a control team, a frost control team with her, with Sani, with Zephyr. Um, th the other option that you can have is put her together with um, three defenders. So, as for the defenders, gonna move this to all. You're gonna. The, the three defenders would be Ayane, Crusos, and Megan. Then at the back, you have Zephyr and Crossell. So, that is actually a defensive one. The Frost team would include Ayane, Zephyr, Sani. Um, the other one would be um, Crusos and. Um, Sani and Crusell. Okay, so that is going to be your kind of your your what they call this your suggested frost team. But I will have to do some you know some play test in terms of team composition, especially if we want to go with a control team, and I'll be able to showcase that in the future. Okay, so again, the team comp for her will be frost. A frost team and a defensive team with three defenders. As far as um, content is concerned, she may be good in your big three because during your in your big three team comp, um, Zerola previously was here. You can actually substitute Zerola with her if you want to use damage over time to take out this boss. The other content that I'm thinking about is um, either Final Battle or Final Counter-Strike. So, um, she's going to be good in either Code V or Azazel. So, those are the teams that I think she is going to shine with. I actually tried this out earlier. I still need to build her. Still need to build her in terms of so th this is your 
this is going to be your frost team except that uh, for rin it's going to be ayani there so two defenders are going to be best and sunny and zephyr with Crossell is going to be your you know your frost tandem at the back or frost trio at the back so just let's just um, see how you know what the potential for this lineup is so you really need to put Crossell in the middle uh you'll need defenders in the front really so um and Crusoe's actually needs to be built um more with her with his gear i i still need to tweak some of his uh, equipment and as you can see there rin falls definitely you'll be needing a, a defender there but if you can properly defend the middle or uh for example if you can properly defend all three of them at the back then you'll be fine and you'll be successful so as you can see there one just uh, the slip by and uh, it takes out everybody in this team so definitely your frost team is going to be working or it's going to work with this lineup or any other lineup because you'll need ayani there um, also for frost okay so counter strike final battle and big three are ideal for content and my final thoughts guys for crucell is sunny crucell and zephyr combo is the way to go with her she is either going to be um better than zarola or at par with zarola i think she's going to be better because there's a lot in her kit and um if i can only just level her up to she's right now at four star peach and my zarola is actually right now and she has the she is in five diamonds already so there's a big disparity i cannot really compare how effective is one of the other but i have my you know i am confident that she can, has the potential to surpass the role eventually eventually um that is what i'm looking at but i might be wrong guys so if you want to build Crusell, please put your, your thoughts um, down there in the comment section below. And also, what are your thoughts between the Zorol and Crusell rivalry? Who do you think is better than the other? Also, don't forget, um, Crusell is going to be good with your freeze control team. Anyway, guys, for those who have stuck this far, please do consider subscribing because this helps my channel a lot. Thank you guys. Stay safe. Take care. This is the Warden and I'm out of here.